Did you know that you can personalize instruction using your own voice in your Nearpod lessons? Quick and easy, and all you will need is a quiet space and a microphone. This will provide your students with multiple ways of getting instruction and clarity when completing the lessons. For example, if I had in my lessons an open-ended question, and I wanted to include my voice or my audio to further explain the question, I could do that. Sometimes students need an extra push. So the question that I'm asking them to discuss is, what is one way you can use Nearpod in the classroom? I may need to uh, provide my students with further clarity. By using the audio recorder, I can give them a further explanation of what I'm looking for in their answer. I'm going to simply allow my microphone to connect with Nearpod and begin recording. To record, I would press on the microphone. The microphone is highlighted red. Once I press that microphone, the recording will begin. The question is, what is one way that you can use Nearpod in the classroom? I want you to think back of ways that you could possibly use Nearpod within the classroom. Think of ways it can possibly replace paper and pencil-based assignments and assessments. Think of ways that it could be used within workstations, or think of ways that you can use this if at any point in time during the school year, you need to have a quick lesson on hand to recheck what has been taught to the students. I want you to think about that. What is one way that you can use Nearpod in your classroom? Once I have completed my recording, I have options. My recording is now attached, but I must press save for it to fully attach to the lesson. If I want my students to have the ability to answer me back in an audio response, I can simply turn on enable audio recordings for my students. They can respond back with their voice. They can also type out their answer. Again, we want to provide different ways or different methods for our students to be successful. Once I am done, I am going to click save. There are two save buttons. We have our save button next to our recording and we have our save button next for our slide. We want to save the save button next to our recording first. And that will upload it into our Nearpod. It's going to take a few seconds. And then once we're done there, we're going to save it and that will save it to our entire lesson for that particular slide. You can also go and create um, individual slides and give students directions within those slides. These directions can be a, just a simple thing. Um, maybe it can be an introduction to a workstation for the week. Um, maybe it can be an introduction to a lesson, something that you didn't want to put on an anchor chart or you, you didn't want to have printed out. You wanted each student to have an individual response and something that was a different mode of delivery. You can actually create a slide with your audio. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a slide and I'm going to pretend that we are doing a lesson on uh, the Great Barrier Reef. And I, I want to know what my students know or, or what they, they already think they know about the Great Barrier Reef. So I want to give them an introduction, something this slide will pop up in their Nearpod, they'll put this code in and it will give them the directions without me being um, there to write it on the board or me being verbal to, to say it out loud, this will already be present for them in a Nearpod and all they would have to do is click play to hear my voice. So what I think I would like to do is provide them with a picture. So I would go up to images and this is great because again, we're addressing all learning uh, types here. And I'm gonna put in a picture of the Great Barrier Reef. And remember, this is maybe an introductory lesson, so the students have never discussed the Great Barrier Reef. They've never seen it before. Maybe they've heard it somewhere. Maybe they, they've seen it in a textbook, maybe, but not enough to know fully about it. But I want to know what they already know. And so I'm going to ask them a question. And I'm going to do this using my audio. 
I'm going to click on audio and it gives me two options. I can add audio or I can record audio. If I've already recorded my voice, I would just simply add that and upload that MP4 or MP3 file. But I want to record it right then and there. So I'm going to click on record. And remember, we need to press our microphone to activate. Once we press our microphone to activate, it will begin recording. Good morning, boys and girls. What do you see? I see the Great Barrier Reef. Today in this workstation, we will discuss the Great Barrier Reef. I want you to take that circle map from that basket, and I want you to write in the middle all of the things that you know about the Great Barrier Reef. You can even use this picture to help you. If you have any questions, go to slide four and they can help you. Once I'm done, I'm going to repress the microphone button and it will put it at a pause. If I decided to crop out some things, I can crop it out here. If I've decided I wanted to delete the whole audio, I can delete it here. Remember, there are two save buttons. I just need to click the save on the slide first before I click the save on the lesson. So I'm going to click save first, and it's going to upload that into my Nearpod lesson. Once it's done uploading, then I can save the actual slide. And now I've had a quick, quick, brief introduction for my students for the Great Barrier Reef. I'm going to save that. Once I do that, I'm going to click Save and Exit. Oh, I still have something that's being processed. Click Got It. And here is my workstation intro right here. I can give this to my students as a live paced lesson or a student paced lesson. Probably would be student paced if I want each one of them to, go, to log on when they have the ability to log in. And they are ready to go. And we've just personalized our lesson using our teacher voice.